de uh, Nissan Leaf, the third generation of, uh, of Nissan Leaf. Um, actually, the, the base vehicle is a, is a Nissan Leaf, which means 100% electric car, no gas tank, no tailpipe, uh, no gasoline. The running cost is just 4 cents per uh, kilometer, so extremely cheap to run. And the comfort is great, you, you feel like you glide on the road, uh, there is no noise and there are no vibrations because there is no engine. It's also five seats and has a large trunk. But what is new with this car is that it's the third generation. What we change is mainly the battery. We've put a bigger battery with this 30 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, this car can now drive 250 kilometers between two charges. We also have uh, adapted the, the, the navigation system. We have a new version of the navigation system, which I can show you in a minute inside. The first thing to know with, uh, with an electric car is that uh, the car can take you for a very long ride, but you need to drive relatively smoothly. You can drive quickly, but you need to drive smoothly, meaning you need to anticipate, especially when you are in the city, uh, in the traffic jams. The idea is to try avoid braking and let the car uh, decelerate on its own. To help you, uh, there are a number of tools in this car. The first one is the echo button on the steering wheel. With this, um, uh, we reduce the, the number of uh, the power you get, the number of horsepower, uh, and this will uh, make the battery last longer. The acceleration will be less quick, but uh, you go further. We also have here uh, two modes of driving. One is the drive mode, which lets you glide uh, like, uh, like, like, an, like an automatic uh, car. And the brake mode is a mode where the uh, deceleration is, is stronger. Actually, why do we create this? Is to make the um, uh, cinetic energy go back, not into the brakes, but go back into the battery. So this car has regenerative braking, and you can choose with the brake mode, you can choose to activate this. If you activate all tools, meaning echo button, uh, the brake mode, you drive smoothly, you can, you can achieve extremely long range with this car, up to 250 kilometers. So this car, the, the third generation Leaf, is coming with a new uh, navigation system, uh, which we call Nissan Connect TV. It does what usual navigation, navigation system do, like uh, uh, sending you somewhere, but it, it does more. First, we have uh, created a, a, a swipe uh, and zoom function with fingers like this, exactly like on a, on a tablet. So the ergonomic is, uh, is quite good, it's quite easy to use. There is the menu bar at the bottom, uh, which enables you to directly go where you want. Uh, so if we look at what's in the, in the menu, of course you have radio, you can, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, choose the, the audio source, uh, including USB. You also have specific services, which actually are connecting your car with your phone or your computer. What's the usage of this? Well, in the morning, you have an app, and in the morning you can decide, for example, that you, uh, you want to preheat your car. So it's winter, it's cold, your car is plugged, you use your phone to uh, start the heating in your car. The heating is then using the energy from the plug, not the energy for the, from the battery, which means that um, your car will, will go longer afterwards, the range will be better. Of course, you can start air conditioning like this. You can also remotely uh, decide to start or stop charging, and you can program the charging time for your, for your battery. Uh, and then, uh, basically, the rest is about uh, Bluetooth, uh, connectivity, uh, USB connectivity, and uh, digital audio is also part of this uh, of this new navigation. The other thing which is specific to this uh, navigation is this small button here, which is for uh, electric driving, zero emission. So it brings you a specific menu to help you with driving electric cars. For example, this button will show you where you can go on the map. The white circle is where you can go and come back. The gray circle is where you can go, but you will have to charge before you come back. And you can see all the dots here are, uh, are charging points. Uh, actually, if you, if you are looking for a charging point, you just need to press this button. And the system will look for, you, will, will look for charging stations around where you are, and you can directly 
start the navigation if you if you select one of those uh, charging stations. The charging stations get updated remotely. There is a telephone chip in the car, so the car exchanges data and can, can be uh, updated. Uh, you can also program uh, the recharge, so for example you can get the night uh, tariff for electricity and you can, you can uh, program in the car the um, air conditioning again to be able to have a cool car or hot car in the morning depending if it's summer or winter and maximize your range. The car also helps you driving in an efficient way. Uh, it shows you the uh, energy you are using instantly uh, with the engine, with the air conditioning and with the other functions. And it can also show you the, uh, the level of uh, economy uh, which you are delivering in the way you drive. So you can try to improve this using this, uh, using this, uh, this indicator.